Hi guys, so this is my first um, video of baking. This is um, Beginners Baking with me. We today are going to be making pumpkin muffins. And this is what they look like. And there's two important things to always remember in the kitchen. One, always ask an adult for permission to cook in the kitchen. Second is to always wash your hands. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, now that we've washed our hands, and don't forget to use soap and water too. Now that we've washed our hands, we're gonna get baking. Now this is the bowl that I'm using to do. It's a big bowl, but I'm gonna be making a big batch. And my mixer right here, if you don't have one, that's okay. You can hand mix it. And then all my tools right here. And my ingredients like vanilla, milk, oil, Pumpkin puree, of course, sugar, salt, pumpkin spice seasoning, baking powder, baking soda, and flour. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we will need one and a half cups of flour. got my imagining stuff. So one and a half cups. And you always want to double check to make sure that you're seeing it right because sometimes you can get confused and put too much flour or too little flour. So right here it says one and a half cups flour. So we're going to unbury the flour from all of our ingredients. Excuse me. I'll put the flour here. Move some stuff out of the way so it doesn't get in the way. You always want to make sure you're organized in your kitchen. And after you use something, to always put it back so then it doesn't get so messy. We are going to be measuring them out very carefully because you don't want to get too much, as I said. And one of the tricks to using that is by using a butter knife. So it's not too sharp. Now you always want to measure it over the flour in case you spill any. Because you don't want to get it all over your counter. That could become a very big mess to clean up. Trust me, I've done it. It's not so much fun. Anyway. Now there's our first cup and now we need a half cup. And there we go. Two and a half cups of flour. The next thing that we're going to use 
will be baking powder. Okay. Now it says here to use one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Here's your one. And here's your half. Now the baking powder is what makes it rise. So you don't want to get too much, otherwise it'll just be poof. And all your muffins will be ruined because they'll be stuck together. Make sure you always flatten it out with this end. Next we have baking soda. So this is baking soda. It says here, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. And if you don't have a knife or anything with you, just gently tap it like this. And all of it will fall off. Okay, so so far we've gotten our flour, baking powder, and baking soda in. Next is our two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice mix right here. Now this you have to be very careful because you have to take the lid off because if you did it this way, where all the holes are, you would not know how much it would be. So it's very important to do this right. Now, since this has already been used, we're going to wash it. Okay, there we go. Now, to keep it from getting anywhere, we put, place it right there, and we gently tap this. Some may get out of it, but that's okay. It goes all into the lid. Now we need to do two of these. Excuse uh, uh, my cat. He's a very lovely cat. Not right now, bud. Two. And there is our two tablespoons, or teaspoons, excuse me, of pumpkin spice mix. Let's see. Half a teaspoon of salt. And now we need to do the exact same thing with this one to wash it. Alrighty, now we add salt. Salt. We're going to put this into the mixer. Sometimes these pieces can be a little stubborn. And you always want to lock it in place and then start it on a low setting. Like so. 
So, and let that mix for a bit and get your pumpkin puree ready. Now this one I forgot to let out defrost, so we're going to have to microwave it because it's a little frozen. And I will be back in a couple of minutes. So now that our pumpkin is defrosted, we're going to add it to the mixture. But very carefully so it doesn't slop in your face because it's very sloppy. here. You gotta be very careful with, with the oil. I mean, at least for me, because I, the, this kind of oil has a big top, so it kind of splashes everywhere. Anyway, oil in very carefully so we don't spill it. And there we go. Now we have two more ingredients to put in. A half a cup of milk and one teaspoon vanilla extract. So we're going to need our half a cup out and I am going to go wash it. Okay, now that we have washed our half a cup, we're going to pour our milk. Now you could use whatever milk you want. I'm just using soy milk. Here we go. Okay, and sugar. One cup of sugar. Okay. So as you know, we used it for the pumpkin. So of course you're going to do what you always would do. Wash it. I will be right back. Okay, so now that you've washed your one cup, we're going to be doing sugar. And you want to get it just so. gotten all of our ingredients in there, we can start putting away some ingredients so our counter isn't so messy. Okay, now that we've cleaned up our space, we can move the mixer forward a little bit. Towards right here. I'm going to put it down and lock it in place. 
and these are just so a flower doesn't come flying out at you. Because you don't want to get a flower in the face. Now we lock it and mix it for about two minutes. And we'll be back. And while you're mixing it, you want to get out a muffin tray. Just check on it every so often. And you want to line it with cupcake um, things. Or cupcake wrappers. And I'll get them here. So as you're mixing it, I'm going to take some of these cupcake wrappers. Anyway, I put one in each one. And this way you don't have to spray the pan. Although, when they're freshly baked, they tend to stick to the wrappers. So, that might happen at first, but don't worry. As they cool off, they tend to not stick as much. And there we go. Now, since this is all good and mixed up, we're going to go ahead and take it off. all the time anywho we are going to grab a spoon and a spatula and it'll be a metal spoon and a small plastic spatula so first you're going to use the spatula to scrape off all of that pumpkin stuff that's still attached to the mixer. Take it off. all the loud noise it just it's kind of heavy for me to lift anyway so here's our muffin tray and our batter mix it's supposed to look like this and to use a spoon but if you want you can pour it but it's going to be kind of runny so it might be a little hard to do that but you do what you want to do So now, as you can see, I have gotten to the second row of the muffin tray. And I usually do about four to five spoonfuls, small spoonfuls, of the batter into it. They don't really rise, so you really don't need to worry about that. They just stay flat. But that's okay. They're still good. <laughs> oh, and um, if you spill any like this, it's fine. Just... Wipe it up with a paper towel when you're done. So now, when you are done filling all the cupcake wrappers with your mix, you're going to want to put them in the oven 
at 350 bake for at least 10 to 20 minutes. And that's what I'm going to go do now. And if you still have a little bit of batter left like this, right here, we're going to get out a smaller pie tray and fill it up. But it's not much smaller, it's really the same size, just smaller as a, not as many cupcake things to fill. I'm going to put one and see how much batter I have left to see if that is all I can get. And there we go. And now while we wait for the other batch of muffins to cook, we are going to clean up the kitchen. Okay. Now when you're done, if you want to, you can put some Q-Whip on it. Mine are already done, so this is what it looks like. What it looks like. I put a little bit of cool up on it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, and please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And I will be posting a video every Wednesday of every week. And thank you for watching Beginner Baking with Me. Until next time, bye!